Hi everyone, I'm Leo, and welcome to the second lesson of our analog clock app tutorials. So, in the previous lesson, we tried to get the time information from our phone and display it as a digital clock format with tags in App Inventor. So, in this lesson, we will start making our analog clock, the layout of it. So we want to use two different functions here. The first one is the draw circle function of canvas. So we want to draw the circle shape of our analog clock. And the second function is the draw text function. We're using this because uh, I want to display uh, four numbers next to our circle. 12, 3, 6, and 9. So about the hour, minutes, and seconds hands, we will cover it in our next lesson. So let's start by opening our project. Uh, the first thing we need to do is not the draw circle function, is this one. The clear function for canvas. Now we are doing this because every time our main function, remember that uh, these things will operate. So we will do this function every time our clocks change. So if we have many things in our canvas in different times, it will mess up our canvas because every time our clocks change and this value change, we will display different contents in our canvas and we don't want to display everything without deleting the old ones. So we need to clear our canvas before drawing new things. So after we cl clear our canvas, we can draw the circle. Here for the draw circle function, we have four parameters. The xy location of the center, the radius of the circle, and the field. Now if you look carefully, the field function the, the field parameter is actually talking about whether or not you want to fill the circle with colors or you just want it to have a line in a yeah just select what you want but uh, I want my clock to be white and I want the background to be red so I will not fill my circle and talking about color, we also need a color for the circle. Uh, remember that in the designer view, we have defined our paint color here. It's white. But if you want to change it directly from the canvas in App Inventor's functions blocks, we can have the change paint color. Uh, we just set it to the color we want. Here I choose white. And also remember that our canvas is 320 times 320, so its center would be 160. And the weight is, since we need to leave some space, so don't make it to be 160. It will occupy the whole canvas. So they think uh, 120 should be enough. Now, let's open our emulator and see if we can draw the circle. So here's our circle. Uh, I think we should have enough space for the four numbers. Okay, and the next step, we want to display text. To display text, we can go to draw text function. The parameters for 
the draw tag function, the tags we want to display, x and y location. Now here for the x and y location, it depends on your text alignment. So I'll, I align it in the center. So the x here means the center of my whole text. And y means the bottom of the text. So I want to draw number 12 first. In App Inventor, the coordinate system is using is just like other software or uh, mathematical graphs. The x location, the x coordinates is the horizontal one, the y coordinates are the vertical one. So I wanted to display in the middle and the, uh, and above the circle. So the y location here in App Inventor, it will count from the top to the bottom. So remember that this Y means the bottom of our text. So we don't want it to be at zero because our text will be out of the canvas. So and I think 30 should be enough because our font size is 30. And we can check it first. Now here you can see our number display correctly in the center and above the circle. So now what we are going to do next is to copy the functions and change its parameters. The first uh, we change the display text and now we need to change uh, their x and y location and um, usually I will try different values to see which one is better that I will just put the numbers here for you guys uh, for x, uh, 300, for y. Now here, the number 3 should be in the middle and on the right hand side of our circle. But remember that the y coordinates is actually talking about the bottom of the test. So 160 would not do because in that case our text will display a little bit higher than what we expect so we need to add a little bit more so just remind just remember that um, same as the number 12 we're just going to change the y to 300 no uh, 301 and Okay, so let's open our emulator and see if everything works fine. If you can see it clearly, I can show you the numbers here. Uh, here. Okay, so let's open our emulator. Okay. Oops, something's wrong. Uh, yep. We mess up with the XY location. So we just swap it. Oops. Okay, then this should work now. 
and you can see it here now in our last lesson we will start uh, drawing our hour minutes and second hand it is very complicated to do this because we will be uh, using a lot of mathematical functions in our next lesson so I think I will stop it here and leave those things in our next lesson it, it will be a long lesson so I will see you guys there in our next lesson goodbye